Here's one possible implementation of a siren controller with uh, a wavering attack signal and a steady alert signal. Um, it's all solid state except for the relay, which you may or may not need depending on your situation. Um, basically, for any mechanical siren, you'll probably need the relay. Furthermore, you want to make sure that it has enough power handling to handle the current draw when the motor starts up. Um, the, the timing is based on a 556 five, dual timer, which is basically just two 555 five, five timers in the same package. <clears throat> the, the timer on the right controls the attack signal timing. Uh, the way I've got it set up right now, it stays on for... Uh, it's about two seconds on, eight seconds off. Uh, for most mechanical sirens, you're going to want to change that um, since it's not a very good signal. Uh, most mechanical sirens, they get quieter as they spin down. So, uh, basically, it's the 100K, the 33K, and the 100 microfarad capacitor on the right there that you would want to change. Uh, increase any of those values to get longer timing or decrease them to get shorter timing. Uh, the 100K resistor, uh, you should probably decrease to around 1K for, um, for close to a 50% duty cycle so that it stays on and stays off for the same amount of time. Uh, the capacitor, you can probably get away with not changing that. Um, or And of course, you can use a potentiometer to get the exact timing that you want if you don't have a lot of resistors. Uh, the left side of the 556 controls the entire activation signal. Uh, what I've got it set up right now is for two or three minutes. Uh, you don't want to increase the resistor much above one mega ohm, so... Uh, probably you want to use a 220 or even a 470 microfarad capacitor on that and then change the resistor to get the exact timing that you want. Um, the one or the 10k resistors are are needed uh, for the the trigger and the reset. Basically it keeps the input high until you trigger it to low then it you can activate it or reset it uh, whenever you want. Uh, the, the switch basically holds the, uh, the second side of the reset, I mean the second, the reset on the second timer, uh, holds it at a, the output at low so that it, um, basically attack, disable the attack signal and keep it on steady. The, the switch doesn't have to be high power handling, so don't worry about that. Uh, optionally, you can put in some LEDs to indicate when it's activated or whether it's an alert or attack uh, or just to show that there's power going to your to your board. Uh, that's what I've done. I'll show you that a bit later. <clears throat> the You want to make sure the transistor can handle the power required to keep the relay on. Uh, you definitely do not want to hook the relay directly to uh, the CMOS output on the, the NOR gate. Uh, because you'll damage something. Additionally, the protection diode on the uh, in parallel with the coil, you need that on the on the relay. Otherwise, the voltage created when you turn the coil off could possibly damage the transistor. So just keep the diode there. Uh, it doesn't have to be a high current diode; just uh, a small signal diode will work just fine for that. Um. Anyway. Uh, again, make sure the relay can handle the starting current on your siren. Um, and other than that, I can't. There's not much more I can think of. So here's the circuit. Uh, optionally, you can put in some LEDs like I did. Um, basically, well, this one is not really a part of the timer circuit, but it just it shows that there's power going to this board, and then here. The green LED shows that there's power, but that it is uh, not currently activated. Uh, the, the red one turns on when I activate it. Um, the orange one, if you can see it there, uh, yeah, you can kind of... Um, that, that's just making sure that the attack timer is working properly. Um, so if I activate it here... Uh,
Sorry, I don't plug it. It'll it'll stay on for about uh, two or three minutes. So um, I don't have a reset button hooked up right now. So <clears throat> anyway, that's that's all pretty much. That's how the timer works. Um, so just experiment with the uh, the timing components to get the exact timings that you want. Uh, also, um, I'm making this video before I explain the schematic itself. So. If I don't talk about it, uh, if you want to get uh, a duty cycle that is more than 50%, uh, you'll have to use diodes over the uh, one of the resistors here. Um, so, for instance, uh, on this implementation, the you notice the attack signal stays on for less time than it stays off, uh, which you can get away with that with electronic sirens or mechanical sirens with separate... Uh, blowers, but <clears throat> with most mechanical sirens, they get softer as the as they spin down. So it's better to have it the opposite, uh, where it stays on for a few seconds and then stays and then turns off for less time. But anyway, that's uh, I can't think of anything else for right now. So.